Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Oh. I'm falling in love in a parking lot here. Shop inside. Let's have a look. Okay, just chilling in the gazebo here at Villewood Farms. Uh, literally chilling. It's a lot colder than it looks. And I just had some sweet potato ice cream in there, which was delicious, thanks to Lauren. I think I'm even gonna try some sweet potato ice cream. Just talk me into it. So here it goes. Give the chocolate milk a first try. Oh, interesting. Well, wow, it's super smooth. Yeah, it's nicely creamy, there's no funky flavors. It is pretty straightforward chocolate milk, but it is delicious. That's good stuff. And how beautiful is this? Check out the, the carton for the low-fat version. That is just beautiful design. It's, it's orange and brown. I guess a shout out to the Cleveland Browns or um, Bowling Green University. They got that kind of color scheme, but man, it looks really good. It looks classy, just well designed. It catches the eye and it makes you think, yeah, chocolate milk. It does impact the buying decision. And you see a lot of goofy cow cartoony sort of things and maybe it's to entice kids or whatever, but this looks serious. Looks like it might have looked this way for 30 years or more, that aesthetic, I think, still appeals to chocolate milk drinkers, for sure. Uh, Richie's Dairy in Martinsburg, PA. Uh, it's a Sunday, they do open up at one o'clock, so I was here at the stroke of one. Timing's working out pretty well today. It's reduced fat chocolate milk, so it was at one and a half percent. Uh, and they have it in a, a beautiful cart, just like we saw in, at uh, Valewood Farms. This is a really attractive dichromatic carton. It's brown and white, there's no guessing as to what's in here. All right, Richie's Country Fresh. Again, one and a half percent. It's not a common percentage out here. Usually for reduced fat chocolate milk, it's 2% and low fat would be considered 1%. Hmm. Okay. It's sweet and chocolatey, but the sweetness, I think, makes the chocolatey flavor a little bit more like a candy sort of a sweetness. And if you were to hand this to me, I would think that it was low fat. I would think that it was 1% and not 2%. So it seems to skew on that side from a feel perspective. I've had such high level chocolate milk the last few days that, you know, normally I would appreciate that a little bit more. But, I mean, this is Pennsylvania. This is the real deal. Wavy and Jane's Emporium in Connellsville, PA. Let's hope that they held that uh, Woe Nelly Dairy for me. It'll be held to pay if they didn't. Not really, they'll just be sad. did me right. Okay, they had it, and uh, they had quite a bit of it, so really fired up. Thanks to Shelby for handling the transaction and for selling me on some uh, peanut butter balls. She said it's their answer to Buckeyes, I guess, which is, I don't know if that has an Ohio connotation. Basically, peanut butter balls with chocolate on them. There you go. Buckeyes. Just in time, I am kind of hungry, so 
knock one of these out, and then uh, head over to Washington, PA for the last stop of the day. Thanks again, Wavy and Jane's Emporium, and Shelby and Robert for taking the call. I might have called them Richard before. Uh, I called them two nights ago and asked if they'd be able to hold one unit of the, the Woe Nelly Dairy for me. I spoke with Richard. He assured me that they could. Sorry about that, Robert. For my manners, uh, I forgot to try it. Just cracked one open. Wow, that's super good. It's pretty dense, but it's super creamy and buttery. It really kicks off the flavor well and it sustains it throughout the whole sip. It's chocolatey, super creamy, great texture. Uh, this stuff's pretty awesome. Whoa Nelly Dairy from Acme, Pennsylvania. Wow, oh, I'm falling in love in a parking lot here. Whoa. <sighs> super good. the spring house in Washington, PA. Yep. Interesting, different. Um, it's not, not, I don't wanna say soapy, that doesn't sound right, but it feels a little slippery. Cocoa flavor is a little bit reluctant. Maybe it's like a more of a, of a vanilla malt. Not as nice as the Wonelli that I just had. It's gonna to be tough to measure up to that one. That stuff is brilliant. All in all, not bad at all. But again, it's a pretty crowded pool of delicious chocolate milk and PA, so it's hard to stand out. Gonna head up to the hotel and uh, get started early tomorrow morning. There's some really innovative flavors in there. There's a cucumber, uh, pepper or something. I don't want to do it a disservice, but I learned that there's a such thing as cucumber extract. Okay. That's gonna, right, oh, there goes the cap. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all kinds of neat stuff in there. Cherry pies and all that. Baked goods, but I had to come home with the, this pumpkin spice covered pretzels. It's a gimmick, but uh, I guess as a guy traveling the world drinking chocolate milk, I'm not immune to gimmicks. So, ooh, Humane Society, it's closed. 